This is Tim Awesome with Emily, Kaylee, Maria, Joseph, Raul, and Puri. We're in the online principles of management class. This is our midterm finger puppet management presentation. Our show will give viewers an understanding of how managers and people in the workplace can sometimes react to handling certain situations. Our episodes have examples and themes such as ethical dilemmas, manager roles, international management, planning and organizing, strategic management, and individual decision making. We also believe that our viewers can take away some useful ideas how to behave in a business environment and deal with different types of problems. The basic plot of our show is about two doctors. Robert and Paul. They went to medical school together and have always maintained a close friendship, but they came from very different backgrounds. Robert came from a very upper middle class family and had his college paid for by his family, whereas Paul had to work hard to get scholarships and work full time while in school in order to pay for the remainder of his tuition. Recently, Paul has grown to be increasingly resentful of Robert's financial success. Paul is then faced with an extreme ethical dilemma involving a gang member named Timmy and eventually Paul's wife Paula. In order to present our show, we break down the story in, into the six episodes. The first one focusing around managerial ethics and social responsibility. Next, our show will go into managerial roles and give viewers an example of the disturbing handler role during episode 2. The third episode will go into individual decision making with episode 4 following up with strategic management and give an example of setting direction. Episode 5 is about international management by providing an example of cultural views and the effect they have on the decision-making process. Lastly, the sixth episode ends the season by teaching a valuable lessons about ethics and the consequences of actions, as well as demonstrating planning and organizing. Our target audience includes young adults, adults who are interested in the business world and also people who are enjoy drama TV shows. All right, let's meet our characters. Paul is our first character. Paul's profession is a doctor. He is very motivated and knows how hard he must work to get where he wants to be. Paul is very well known and respected doctor in the community. He's very skilled and he always provides a perfect time management skills and customer service skills. But life has always been a little more difficult for Paul, thus having to make work that much harder to get to the top. Paul has always been confident in what he does, but lately he has felt the pressure to exceed expectations and move up in the medical world. Paul has always tried to oppress his feelings uh, jealously of those who do better than him, but with the recent success of his longtime friend Robert, Paul starts taking drastic measures. Our next two characters are Robert and Paula. Robert is also a hard-working doctor. Like Paul, Robert is a very well-known doctor in the community, being promoted to a high position at the physician's office. Robert and Paul graduated together, but unlike Paul's continuous hard work, Robert has always had an easygoing life where things seem to just fall into place for him. Robert has always been accredited as a respected and honest man, except he has a side few people know. Robert has developed a gambling problem causing a loss of money, disrespect to the practices code of conduct, and a personal vendetta from the mafia. Paula comes from a family that lives below the poverty level. She came to America as a foreign exchange student and became the high school sweetheart of Paul. Paula breathed through college with hopes of marrying a wealthy doctor such as Paul. To her husband, she has been supportive, loving and caring. But deep down inside, Paula is second guessing her husband's salary and starting to resent his inability to succeed Robert. 
We have two more characters, Timmy and Sally. Tim is a mafia man. He's sneaky, clever, and will take anyone out to get his way. Timmy has not had a great past when it comes to trust. He partakes in various illegal activities and can access personal secrets, whether true or not. Sally, the bubbly and upbeat receptionist at the doctor's office where Paul and Robert practice. Her happy-go-lucky attitude brightens up the office, making her a great face for the front of house. Sally is working answering phone calls and organizing patient charts as part of her intern hours to soon become the doctor's assistant. She not only comes to work excited and motivated for their day, but acts as a mutual friend and holds no prejudices to the other's success. Alright, let's move on. As I said before, our TV show is broken up into six episodes. The theme of episode one embodies managerial ethics and the social responsibility of ethical decision making. The episode elaborates on how Robert is compensated more than Paul. Paul sees Robert's recent promotion as the result of silver spoon upbringing, when it is actually a result of the justice approach that the physician's office takes towards compensation. Later on, we will see how Paul's assumptions can lead to the ethical dilemmas. Episode 2 detail the importance of manager roles. Paul's bareness creates an uncomfortable work environment for Sally and Robert. Without giving too much away, this episode shows how Robert implements his new authoritative position, the disturbance handler role. In order to de-escalate the tension, he attempts to remind Paul that his action will affect his image and success within the office. Our next episode is episode 3. It outlined the start of Paul's individual decision-making process towards an opportunity that may or may not assist in his overall objective to advance in his medical profession. In this episode, you will find out what effect Robert's action in episode 2 may have had on Paul's decision-making now. Paul is offered an opportunity to not only get revenge on Robert, but to compensate himself quite well in the process. And the question is, what will he decide to do? Episode 4 will reflect the implementation of strategic management. In this episode, Paul is forced to take bold action, setting direction toward his strategic vision. Paula, Paul's wife, does not agree with the decision he made in episode 3. Despite the hostility and pressure of his marital environment, Paul remains stratified and his long-term vision for a bright future in the medical field. Episode 5 It themed after international management. Paul's childhood experience a of poverty and cultural use of money eventually persuade her to reach out to Tammy in hopes of obtaining more information about the opportunity previously presented to her husband. In this episode, Timmy's role as a manager for the Mafia fully reveals itself. His ability to identify the cultural context of Paula and her situation represents a diverse application of international management skills. Episode 6 will stress the importance of proper planning. With a humorous twist to conclude our show, Paula learns a painful lesson and the necessity of evaluating her own strategic plans. This episode shows Timmy's role at a function level within uh, her, his organization, assisting the Mafia's strategic plans by managing their organizational or tactical plans, like the one created with Paula to steal a large sum of money from Robert. Our last part that we are going to cover is assignment that we have already done and our upcoming assignments. Master 1 jump started this project and was the first time we collaborated as a group. 
We successfully created our own stories and characters and eventually decided that the group to use the one details early in the presentation. What about milestone two? So it was very important assignment for Team Awesome because it allowed us to further define our character's profile and develop the plot. Midterm finger puppet management presentation is our biggest assignment and we had equally delegated tasks to all six group members to ensure their participation and thoughts are maximized. On the screen you can see how we break down our responsibilities. Moreover, we want to present uh, how we are going to deal with our upcoming assignment. Our next big group assignment is Milestone 3. For this assignment, we plan to split into three groups. Group 1 will be responsible for further developing our storyboard. Group 2 will be responsible for creating, identifying and summarizing new and old episodes. And Group 3 will construct the booklet draft. Milestone 4 is essentially an extension of Milestone 3, so we're going to follow our strategy in order to create our final product. For final finger puppet management presentation, we are going to make final adjustments, film each episode, combine our episodes and edit, review and collaborate, and submit it. We also uh, <laughs> should do our best and collaborate with the group on the overall product, uh, make any changes and submit our finalized assignment. And lastly, you can see these bullet points where we covered what we need to do for our future assignments. This is midterm finger puppet management presentation by Team Awesome, and thank you for your attention.